Hey, 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 what up? It's Christian. The two new characters have finally been leaked. Majub, as well as Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku. Extremely unexpected. However, what was not unexpected is the fact that this is a Legends All-Star banner. So that is obviously something to take away here. Now, looking at the actual banner itself, bro, dude, it is looking pretty good. So you have Revival, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Transforming Demon King Piccolo. Obviously, they themselves are already good. This Broly. Broly is my favorite character, but I do have to admit, this guy isn't as good. Then you have Hit. He is good. Goku, infamous EX unit, Transforming. Phenomenal. Vegeta functions very, very good on Saiyans. Final Form, Frieza, Metal Cooler, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku. They're all great options for sagas from the movies. Then you have a little bit more random ones. Some older GT units, some newer GT units with their Zenkais. Yamcha here with Dragon Ball Saga as well as Launch. So you can see the sparking pool right here as well. And then you have the actual EX units from the anniversary already making their appearance. So within two, three banners of the anniversary, the EXs are already making their appearance back on a banner. Dude, Majub, <laughs> Majub buffs Fusion Warriors. Majub buffs Fusion Warriors. That is phenomenal. And without a doubt, I definitely want to compare him to a six-star Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and see whether or not he deserves his spot in Fusion Warriors. So here are his tags, GT and fusion war this is going to be his main ones i was expecting him to get regen but he did not so his health is 2.1 million strike attack 206 blast attack 207 kind of even there his strike and blast defenses though are very low below 160,000. that is going to be bad now let's look at him pretty much like at eh, 10 stars here we'll, we'll put him right here so inching towards I mean, that doesn't really look too pretty, to be honest, right here with the stats. Even at 10, the defenses aren't looking too good. So he definitely seems like he's going to be an offensive cannon, but who knows? Maybe his kit, he'll get a crazy amount of sustained damage, cut a reduced damage received. Let's find out. Main ability. You won't be rid of me until you're dead. Draw the ultimate. Arts. He has an ultimate, really? Cyclone Stream next. Restores ally help hold on hold on restores ally health by 50 percent and key by 40 40 percent to blast damage inflicted for 20 time accounts oh is this gonna set him back he, i didn't take notice of, he is a range type wow he is a range type so this is going to set him back already okay increase his own arts card draw speed by two levels for 10 timer counts requirements 25 timer counts must elapse unique ability faithful fusion fusion warrior bruh <laughs> 15 percent to damage inflicted by allies when battle starts so that is a passive buff you're already gonna have that that is phenomenal a passive falling affects itself when this character enters the battlefield restores key by 40 70% to damage afflicted cannot be stacked. Reduces damage received by 30%. Okay, so obviously, like I said, if he he's probably going to have reduced damage received, and here it is right here. Draw a special arts card next. Really? That is nice. So he's. I'm guessing he's going to be able to reduce the cost of his blue as well. Who knows? But that's really good. Restoring key by 40. You'll be able to use like two, two blasts if you do charge step, two strikes. That's phenomenal right there. Latent Majin Power seals enemies' strike arts when changing cover. Okay, the sealed arts cannot be used for three timer counts. So, this is kind of similar to Zenkai Super Saiyan Gogeta's green card, except it's only going to be for three counts, but it, it's cool. A passive falling affects itself every time an arts card is drawn while this character is <gasps> Super Saiyan. Dude, they're teasing us. They're teasing us with Zenkai Super Saiyan Vegito. You gotta be kidding me. 
Super Saiyan Vegeta has this exact same unique ability. Every time he draws a certain arts card, he gets a certain buff. This is the exact same thing. Strike arts card plus 30% chance for next strike arts to inflict enemy with paralyze on hit. What? Paralyze. Blast arts card minus 3 to blast arts cost for 15 timer counts. Special arts card reduces next damage sustained by 25%. Oh, wow. Okay. That's good. Special move arts card plus 25% to special move damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Restores own health by 20%. Oh, he has endurance? No way. That is... <gasps> Dude, this guy is going to be... Oh my, oh my. But the thing is, is that he's yellow. He's yellow. He's going to be competing with Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Dude, What? What? And I haven't even finished reading his kit and he already looks good. He restores his health by 20. He's going to be able to tank a rush. Do you know how big that is? Fusion Warriors does not have a single character with endurance. So having this now is phenomenal. Great. He's a little bit of a support type as well, giving that 50% to damage inflicted as well as that. 15% ally heal. Okay. Okay. I see you. Regular strike, regular blast, blue card. It deals massive impact damage. Cancels enemy attribute upgrades on hit. Activates twice. Special skill, green. Applies the following effects itself upon activation. Randomly draws one new card. So that is what Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta's card, green card does. Once he activates the counter, he draws one strike card. Restores key by 50. 50% to next arch damage inflicted cannot be stacked. Applies buff effect nullifies enemies special actions to activate when changing cover for three timer counts. Comboable arts. Anything. So that this guy's green card is similar to Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta's. Pretty much like almost the exact same thing. So he Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta has the reduction of damage, but Majub does not. They both draw one card when they activate the counter. Majib restores 50 key. Gogeta only restores 40 key. Gogeta gets 50% to damage inflicted. Cancels all the enemy attribute upgrades. And you can't switch for 5 timer counts. But what Majib does is he gets 50% to next arch damage inflicted. Applies buff effect, nullifies enemy special action that activate when changing cover. So, hmm. Uh, between these two's green card, I don't really know who's would be better between the both of them. Nah, th this guy. His are better. <laughs> Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta's green card is better. I have to give it to him. You draw the strike. You restore key. You get 50% to damage inflicted. Not, it's not restricted to one card. So you can go for 10 counts. Cancels the attribute upgrades. And you can't switch for 5 timer counts. So even with this guy nullifying the enemy special actions that activate when changing cover. They can still switch. So if you're about to kill them. They're going to be able to switch. So that does suck. But with this guy they're not going to be able to switch. They're going to have to die. Hmm. So, out of these two green cards, Gogeta Blue definitely has it over Maju. Then the ultimate. Okay, let's see. It deals massive impact damage. Applies the following effects itself upon activation. 30% to damage inflicted for three timer counts. Applies attribute upgrade. Minus 50% to enemy sustained damage cut effects for three timer counts. Applies the following effects to all enemies on hit. Reduces key by 70 Inflicts attribute downgrade minus 80% to health restoration for 40 timer counts. He holds a strike and a blast. So that strike can go towards the melee side and then the blast will be kept towards himself. Blast arts that restore own health by 5%. Okay, that's going to come in handy, you know, every now and then when you get it. And then his Z ability, right when you pull him at two stars, right when you pull him, he's already going to be buffing. Fusion Warriors, 90% to base blast attack during battle. At three stars, he then gives 
24% to Base Strike and Blast Attack to Fusion Warrior and GT. But it's at 6 where if you have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, it's going to look even better for you. 30% to Tag Fusion Warrior or Tag GT, Base Strike and Blast Attack. And 15% to characters that are both Tag Fusion Warrior and Tag GT Base Strike Defense during battle. Since Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a defense unit, it's just going to make him a lot more tankier. A lot more tankier. His Z ability, it, it's better than Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. It is. It is, for sure. Because the majority of us are only going to have Gogeta Blue less than 14 stars. I'm pretty sure no free-to-play player has this guy 14 stars, right? So between these two, Maju both already gives 30% to base strike and blast attack like Gogeta does. But then on top of that, he gives 50% to base strike defense to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So that's like a little bit of an extra. So in terms of Z ability, viability, Majub is better. Gogeta's is not. In terms of the green card, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta has the upper hand. In terms of the ultimates, uh... Gogeta Blues is going to have that as well because he's going to be able to build it up, you know, with each time he uses a strike or a blast arts, he gets non-cancelable buffs towards damage afflicted up and ultimate damage afflicted up. So between those two ultimates, yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the thing, too, is now that this guy is not a build upable unit, for example, like Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, he needs to be built up. Every time you use a strike, you use a blast, you get more buffs, right? But co the color purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, he also needs to be built up, you know, for his blue card. And you don't really want to have two units on your team that build up. So the fact that Maju doesn't need to be built up is good. Pretty much as soon as he tags in, he's already going to have the buffs. Yeah, at 14 stars, his stats are 2.4 million health, 240 strike and blast attack, 160, uh, like 3,000 for both defenses. So looking looking pretty good. But the majority of us are probably going to have him like 7 stars at the most within the first week of a release. So you're looking at 212 on both offenses and then 143,000 strike defense. 148,000 blast defense. So once again, not looking too good in terms of the defense. But you'll be able to have Super Saiyan 4 Gujita on the side ready to be tagged into the tank. And he just has reduced damage received on his own too, which is looking pretty good. And then at 14 stars, yeah, it's 35%. So the exact same as Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. He also gives 35%, but then again, he's giving that 18% to base strike defense to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta <sighs> dude this is looking good he's looking really good I'm definitely going to summon for him without a doubt definitely going to summon for him there's no way that I'm not if you main Fusion Warriors and you don't have Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta 6 stars I would definitely consider summoning for him definitely consider summoning for this guy if you have 5000 crystals I would go for it. Definitely go for it. And now, if you don't have that many, like 2,000, I would say for Zenkai Super Saiyan Vegito, that's just going to be me. I would just do one multi at the very most if you feel like he's around the corner. Me, personally, I'm probably just going to go until I pull, like, three copies of him, and then I'll purchase the missions, too. So, don't go too heavy on this banner, right? Don't go too heavy. The filler units, they're looking pretty good, too. They are not terrible. You know, they look pretty freaking good. So that's definitely a W right there as well. The units aren't terrible. They're looking pretty good. It's the usual 1,000 for the multi. Then you got the dailies. And then you have the single summon as well. I'm assuming it's going to be the, yeah, so sparking guaranteed per summon. And then I'm assuming four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 18 sparkings, if I counted correctly, in this banner. 18 sparkings. And then you obviously have like a, a 1 in 18 chance of pulling Majub here. 
So once again, if you're debating on whether or not doing it, I would just think about that. I would just think about that. But definitely looking like a competitor for the yellow spot in Fusion Warriors. Because once again, as a free-to-play player, you're not going to be having Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta above like 10 stars. At the very most, that's when I'd say a free-to-play player would have them. But even I myself, I'm free-to-play, I have them 6 stars. So... I'm certain you probably have them six hours too or below that. <sighs> Dude. It's going to be difficult. The banner releases on Friday on the 30th or 31st, depending on the time zone. So just keep your head up. Think about maybe you want to do it or not. Especially once again, if you don't have Super Saiyan Blue Gorgita six stars or above, consider summoning for this guy. He's definitely a good 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 freaking option he doesn't need to be built up which is good as soon as he tags in he's going to be able to you know have those buffs ready to go his main ability restores ally health by 15 so that's support right there then he gives another support buff 50 percent to damage afflicted by allies then he gives another support buff <clears throat> Or rather, his Z ability is better than Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta's because he's also giving 50% to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. <laughs> so there's that. All in all, <sighs> I don't know, man. He, he's going to have a good spot in there. Good spot. Then we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm not really going to look in this guy too heavily at 6 stars, 2 million health, strike attack 208, plus attack 197. Strike defense 138, blast defense 144. So the defenses for these two guys are mediocre at six stars. Completely mediocre at 14 stars, over 160, just about 160 with the strike defense, but blast defense 167. Really just, you know, not looking too good. So we'll go here. Main ability doesn't hurt. Draw the ultimate arts card. Super Dragon Ball Flash. I mean, Super Dragon Flash next. Restores own health by 20% and key by 30. 40% to damage inflicted for 15 time recounts cannot be cancelled. Reduces damage received by 20% for 15 time recounts cannot be cancelled. 25 must elapse. Applies the following effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 20 to damage inflicted cannot be cancelled, cannot be stacked. 50% to damage inflicted for 10 time recounts cannot be cancelled. Reduces damage received by 40% for 10 time recounts cannot be cancelled. Increases the arts card draw speed by two levels for ten time accounts cannot be cancelled. Overflowing superpower. Applies a falling effects to self every time this character uses a strike or blast arts card. Fifteen percent to damage inflicted for five time accounts, forty percent to key recovery for five time accounts. Minus three to strike and blast arts cost for five time accounts. Yeah uh, it's looking it's looking pretty good, I'ma be honest. Super Kamahamaha Plus 30% to special move damage inflicted for three time recounts upon activation. Shortens ally substitution counts by three on hit. Okay, so you have to hit him in order to get that substitution decrease. Special skill. Rest oh, it's another AoE green card. Okay. Restores own key by 20 upon activation. The following effects occur on hit. Shortens ally substitution counts by three. Destroys all of your own cards. Wow. Okay. So if you have full key... And you're out of cards. You're good. Ultimate skill. Super Dragon Flash. Deals massive impact damage. 40% to damage inflicted for three time recounts upon activation. Shortens ally substitution counts by five on hit. Plus 20% to strike damage inflicted for two time recounts. When used, he holds two strike cards. And he is obviously a melee type. A blue for let's see which tags he is going to be made for. GT, obviously not surprised. And the other tag is Sun Family. Wow. Okay. Really, 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 really. And then GT Saiyan. Okay. 50% that attack GT base blast attack. So he gives base strike attack and defense. And then 35. So similar with these guys. Similar with the both of them. At three stars, they're going to buff the other tags. At six stars, they're going to be giving 30% to an offensive stat. And they're also giving that other stat to both tags, kind of restricting them to that team. But, yeah, these guys are looking great. Obviously, 
Maju is the king. He he's he's better than Super Saiyan 3 Goku. <laughs> I'm definitely not showing bias here, by the way. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> better all the way. I'm gonna summon for him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna do a showcase on him. Pull him like two or three times on the banner. But I'm pro I'm gonna go until I have like 2k left just so i can buy the just about so i have enough to buy the missions anyways let me know what you think about this are you hyped for another fusion warrior unit dude they literally gave him the same unique a plaza falling affects itself every time an arts card is drawn while this character is on the battlefield super saiyan vegeto literally has that same unique word for word bar for bar he majub stole vegeto's whole can flow they're teasing us with this they're teasing us they're teasing us, bro. Watch. This is literally what they're doing for Fusion Warriors, bro. They're trying to drain us of all our crystals, right? For With Majub. And then, boom. They're going to drop freaking, what's it called? Super Saiyan Vegeta Zenkai. Get the freak out of here. I'm still going to summon for him, though. As of right now, am I going to say he's better than Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta? No. I definitely want to have him in my hands and use him and see what he's like. Let me know what you think, though.